What is going on everybody, Borna AK Hawk here, and as we are almost 24 hours removed from that heartbreaking, gut-wrenching loss of the Dallas Cowboys, I'm starting to reflect and look at kind of the areas that went wrong, and in this video, we're going to talk about Storm Norton and how exposed he was, um, essentially, in this Cowboys game. They moved Micah Parsons to the line, and here's the thing so far. The Chargers have been unwilling so far to move left guard Matt Filer to right tackle where Storm Norton was, and then they can give rookie Brendan Hymes a shot at guard. And I think after Storm Norton's performances, we're about to take a look right now, it could be time. Listen, this guy was getting absolutely manhandled by Micah Parsons all day long. And it's, sure, Micah Parsons is a great player, but Storm Norton, the technique, the lateral quickness was just all getting exposed. And on the other side of things, Rashawn Slater had a great game. Corey Lindsley had a meh game, some two penalties, but Justin Herbert didn't have time, essentially and especially against a weakened Dallas pass rush with the absence of Demarcus Lawrence and Randy Gregory. But guys, just take a look when they're trying to run screen plays, plays that develop, they need more time. Man, dude, even on getting double team, getting inside swim moves, Storm Norton was getting absolutely manhandled. And unfortunately, when they signed him in 2020, they didn't expect him to start. But also they have Trey Pipkins, who remains a project, who is continuously struggling. But in this video, guys, I'm just showing you that it was not just one play. It was a field day for Micah Parsons. I'm sorry, look at that. It's not th there's nothing crazy about that move. It's just, it's just a boom left to right, and he's straight shot to the quarterback. Guys, this was the kind of protection that Justin Herbert was getting last year for the Los Angeles Chargers. And this is why we weren't essentially able to win the football game. You can hear a lot of things about penalties, um, about that terrible illegal formation call on Jared Cook. They calling Herbert down in the next play on second and goal. But this team needs to figure out what they're going to do about the right side of their offensive line. I understand they're not going to be without Balaga for a while, but they had to prepare for that. We were all talking about it, that he was going to be injured. They, again, I repeat, they have been unwilling so far to move Matt Filer to right tackle, but it's a position that he has played, and I think if Storm Nord, maybe you give him one more chance in Kansas City, but he's just going to get you know, tortured by Frank Clark in that front. So you may have to move Filer to right tackle so you can give Brendan Hymes a shot at guard. I know he's a fifth-down pick, but there's been a lot of good reviews about him in camp, and all I wanted to say is this. The offensive line from week one was actually pretty good in week two from the left side, but man, Storm Norton, whoo, 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 got absolutely exposed. So I want you guys to let me know what your thoughts on Storm was and what you guys think the Chargers should do on offensive line next week in Kansas City. Of course, we have to play the angry Kansas City Chiefs. Not great, everybody. The Chargers are looming a one and two start. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you subscribe, join the Discord, hit the like button, follow me on Twitter at Hogborna, and I'm signing out. Peace.